Travel from the 14. No, line lost the football. And the Eagles fall on it. Oh, disaster early for the Jaguars. Disaster late for the Jaguars. Trammell with the fumble back there, returning punts. The cumulative effect of losing guys to trades and injuries hurting this team. And I felt bad for this guy. He gets a chance, and that's the first thing oh. he does. I don't think many teams have started their first touch with a turnover and their last touch of the game oh, with no. a turnover and won a football game. Yeah. The Jaguars bookend with turnovers. And they keep the streak going of bad football performances and losses. We talk all about it. Jags Report Live right now. This is Action Sports Jacks Jags Report Live from Strings Sports Brewery. Sponsored by Farrah and Farrah, the exclusive injury law firm of the Jaguars. Just a, just a precaution. Um, just still with the medical team at that time, just to double check, triple check. And then uh, we knew coming out that he could be, he could be coming out late. I told him don't be too late because we get the ball. <laughs> Start the second half. Because he was the last guy out of the locker room. Okay. Definitely was banged up a little bit, but he's okay. Uh, Trevor Lawrence is, and there's a laundry list of injuries, of course. We'll get to some of that coming up in a bit. We are live at String Sports Brewery in Springfield. And we got a little bit of a party. A little yeah. Dad's dinner party here, Dan. Let's go. Got a college basketball opener coming up at 8.30 tonight here in Jacksonville with Florida and South Florida. So we'll have more on that tonight. But right now we're talking about the Jacksonville Jaguars. And honestly, Brent, you can be as, as a Jag fan, I feel your frustration, man. It's got to be as frustrating as it's ever been. Yesterday was just wrong on so many levels, man, and, and just such a poor performance in the first half by the offense. They can't play complimentary football. They can't do anything right, it seems. And in the end, they lose, and they lose on a, on a play at the end where they had a chance. And they just seem to kind of kind of panic a little bit, Brent. Minute 40 left when they do this, Brent Martineau. A minute 40. Why are we throwing in the end zone? If they score on this play, we all know the Eagles are going to get the ball, go down and kick a field goal and beat the Jaguars. Take your time, Trevor. I've uh, Listen, I, I'm a big believer that it's a player's league. I try to lay off the coaches as much as possible. This is squarely on Doug Peterson and Press Taylor. Yeah. This is situational football. Yes. And we just did this last week in Jacksonville. They gave the ball back to Malik Willis, and he beat you. Yeah. You don't think the Eagles and Jalen Hurts are going to come down and beat you? Run the football. And you know what happens? If you run the football, that doesn't happen on first down. If it oh. happens on third down or fourth down, I can live, live with it. With it. Yeah. But not on first down. Yeah, Trevor's got to be better in that spot. Dearness Johnson's got to be better at that spot. But Doug Peterson and Press Taylor need to really be better in that spot. And listen, I, don't, I, I can't. There, there, there's, no, there's no moral victories here. We can talk about the defense. Oh, the defense. Oh, the, let me tell you something. The defense was terrible yesterday. Brent, they gave up 236 yards on the ground. 236. This is a give-up play by Philadelphia. We'll just take a field goal. It's third and long. Saquon Barkley didn't get touched. That's a defensive breakdown. That is inexcusable for a National Football League team. It's, it's mind-boggling that would happen. And it happened again and again and again. Again, Jalen Hurts. Uh, just you can't third and 22 they hey. took the penalty to push them back everybody listen to these numbers all right yeah according to ESPN yeah. the league rate of converting third and 15 plus is eight percent okay this year for the Jags the league their rate is 39 percent oh my goodness eight percent to 39 percent oh and boy. the Jags had two of those plays that ended up in touchdowns I'd love to know if Elias Sports Bureau can find out if that's ever happened in a football game before. I'm not done killing the Jaguars, Brent. We talked about the bad defense. Now let's talk about the bad offense. Because the offense, what is going on with you guys? You can't have one first down in a first half of football. One first down. They didn't get their second first down until there were nine minutes left in the third quarter. They had 30, what, one yards of offense in the first half. That's the least amount of yards in the first half in Jags history minus the expansion year of 95 against the Packers. That is... There's too much talent for this to be happening. It's unbelievable. They only had the ball for 22 minutes in the entire football game on top of that. Uh, it's just ridiculous, really. The Jaguars on offense, they can't convert third downs. Yeah. Four for 19 the last two weeks, Dan, on third downs. We got to strain a little bit better. Um, as coaches, we got to put our players in, in situations where third and four is a good situation, but maybe... If we're better on first and second down, maybe that's third and two, and you can do some different things. So I think we as a staff have to look at the third downs, quite honestly, and, and see if if there's something there differently that, that we can do or 
move some guys around within the scheme of things and, and you know, try to stay on the field. It's time for the game plan, sponsored by Everbank. Doug, listen to me. I'm going to give you something different to do. When you play the Vikings, you either give them 10 points right off the rip so we don't have to waste time playing catch-up, or you come out in the no huddle. You come out up-tempo, and you give that a shot because what's going on with this first half of offense is just impossible to figure out. He just said we're going to try to do something different. Well, do it different. Come out like a two-minute drill and let Trevor go and see what happens. You got nothing to lose at this point. Yeah, you really don't. Uh, let's, I, we thought that the Jags had to control the clock. They didn't. 38 minutes time of possession for Philly. And I'll give the Jags defense credit. They never looked like they got tired. and never seemed to impact them. They kept making plays even late in the game to kind of stay in it. Uh, we are here at Spring Sports Brewery in Springfield. Dan mentioned it. There's a basketball game at Five Star Veterans Memorial Arena coming up here tonight at 8.30. Tip. So we got Jags fans. We got Gator fans. We had Gator basketball tonight, yeah. Gator football Saturday, yes. Gator baseball Friday here in Jacksonville. Wow. So a lot of Gator stuff. That's good for me. <laughs> that is good for you. I'm not going to do this next <laughs> segment in protest, so I'm going to let you handle it. Yeah, because I'm you're not going to sit. You're going to sit there and tell us. I'm looking at our rundown. It yeah. says defense had good moments. Yeah, you tell you're us. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're, you're, they did not play bad defense. They played bad defense on a couple of plays. But overall, they got a six-point touchdown yeah. on a return. They stopped three two-point conversions. That's yeah. six more points. That's they because the Eagles coach is a moron. Well, he is a moron. But then there are two field goals they didn't get because they stopped them on fourth down. So uh -huh. that's six more points. 18 points for the defense. How many did the Eagles score? 28. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, if, uh, listen, it would have been a great performance yeah. if they had kicked field goals on those two long plays instead of touchdowns. Right. I don't disagree. It's good and bad, but that's the sense of this team. They do good things. They do bad things. It ends up in the loss column no matter what. I'll handle this next one. Uh, Brian Thomas Jr., is he the best receiver on the team? He is. Are we missing guys with injury? A lot of them. Why was he only targeted four times for 22 yards I with don't two know. catches? Why did that happen? Why would you only throw it to him? Did Brenton Strange have a good second half last week against the Packers when Christian Kirk went out and they used Ingram and Strange? Did he not catch five passes? He did. Why did he only have nine snaps yesterday? Nine, nine. snaps. Help me understand, Brent Martino. You're with the team. You're representing. <laughs> Explain this to me. <laughs> hey. I don't know how to explain it, so I just asked the head man about it. <laughs> they had a corner and a safety, so they basically doubled BT, okay? Um, and it, it's hard to throw the ball over there to a guy that's doubled. In, in Brenton's case, you know, I think it's probably more on us to not, to not get him more involved. I don't know why he didn't play more. He left that locker room early, by the way, yesterday. I don't think he was too happy about it either. This guy, you know, this is what stinks about this. Because you'd love to come in here and today say the Jacks stole a game. Yeah. They really shouldn't have And they could have. And should've. it's all because of that guy right there. That guy is, a, is, is, is not good. Okay. <laughs> so I don't want to say it. Nick Sirianni, I'm getting, by the way. I'm getting too mean. But I'm going to say this about Nick Sirianni. 22 to 16. The Eagles are leading. They're in field goal. Give me field goal range. It's fourth down. If the Jags did do one good thing yesterday, they figured out the tush push. They did. And this guy decides to go for it and throw on fourth down instead of kicking a field goal and taking a nine-point lead with less than 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter and basically clinching the game. Yeah. Make that make sense. Not only that, but he kicked a 57-yard field goal instead of punting the ball deep and having the Jags drive with hardly any linemen yes. or receivers yes. and a banged-up quarterback at the moment. I mean, oh boy. He's, he's something. He yeah. is something. Uh, all right, uh, this guy's something, too, though. We just showed this play during our This guy cast. deserves MVP votes. That's how good he's playing. And the Giants guys should be fired for not giving him an extra couple million and keeping him and letting him go to their arch rivals. Yeah. And that's the bet. They're going to battle Washington for the NFC East title, and this guy's the reason why. What an amazing athlete. If he can stay healthy, he's this kind of player. This guy makes Jalen Hurts better because before yesterday in the last three games in their three-game winning streak, they had run it 120 and thrown it 60. That's better. That's a better ratio for them. Listen, the Jags have a lot of good players. They don't have great players, do they? This guy's a great player. Yeah. Uh, when he's healthy, of course. And this is uh, Stuart Weber's favorite um, Twitter handle. Okay. You know where they he this guy 
matches big plays in sports okay. with big moments in art history. Can you tell us the art painting here? I have here? no idea. This is Da Vinci's uh, Code of Excellence from the 17th century, painted by the great Spaniard Leonardo. D I have no idea. I'm making this all up. I don't know either, but it looks good. <laughs> don't fact check that, please. Don't, uh, please all don't. right, here, here's the deal. We keep talking about the Jags. Uh, more to get to, and the Minnesota Vikings do come to town. Oh, boy. We'll have more on that coming up in just a bit. You know, again, uh, even on Trevor, right? He had some really good moments in yeah. this football game. Not a lot of them on offense, but a really important drive. We'll have our drive of the day. We're live at String Sports Brewery in Springfield. Here in Springfield, that's where we do this show, but soon enough might move to Jack's Beach. That location opening Let's go. up in just a few weeks. We'll keep you posted on that. It's the place we party in football season with Jaguars All Access. Welcome to String Sports Brewery, everybody. Say hello to our guest tonight. That is Trevor Lawrence. You can bring your party or event to String Sports Brewery in Springfield any day and any time. Rehearsal dinners, corporate events, birthdays here at Strings. You can enjoy the inside area and the outside area. Good for any weather, good for any occasion. Watch the games, play the games, shoot some hoops, beer? Yeah, they have that. Plenty of choices. And sure, this is a brewery, but Strings is also a restaurant, and the food is fantastic. A full menu made from scratch meals. And if you need String Sports Brewery to help with a party at your place, they cater too. Family, beer, food, sports, Spring Sports Brewery in Springfield. This is Action Sports Jack's Jags Report Live from Strings Sports Brewery. Sponsored by Farrah and Farrah, the exclusive injury law firm of the Jaguars. I think that's football. I love the anxiety that you get when you uh, got to come back and win. I want to be up the whole game, but that's not NFL football. I love, you know, being able to compete through all four quarters, you know, I love it. it. What you mean? Like, is it mentally exhausting? That's what I signed up for. That's what you do as an NFL football player. Well, that's a good way to look at it. Good perspective from Foye yeah. Lewick. And it looked like it was going to be a blowout. And they turned it into a game. And they almost pulled that off uh, last night. Can I give you some credit as well? That's what you signed up for. That's what you do. You go in there week after week and have to ask the same same questions over and over again it ain't easy man you get to know these guys you know them well you get to like them you want them to win mm. they don't win and you're inevitably ticking them off with question after question which are fair questions so i continue to say hey, job well done and Smug Doug's got to go a little bit easier on you at times, I think. So, uh, hey, they, but I'm it's, just it's passing good, that along as an old guy watching. It's a good group, right? It's a good locker room yeah. in general. And I think that's why they've kept things together. Yeah. And they get it. They, they get it. Yeah. They get the noise in this town as yes. well. And it's not always easy. I, you respect that part of it. And, you know, you like guys like this. And you feel for guys like this. Oh, Baker yeah. County's Cooper Hodges. Oh, he got hurt in the that. preseason last year. Yeah. You know, they really like this young man. A seventh-round pick out of App State. By the way, he was very highly graded by PFF. I saw this morning for his performance yesterday. So he's playing good football. He's getting an opportunity. And, boy, another leg injury. He, he won't play again this year. And if you want to know what I like, listen to Mitch Morse talk about a young guy. Mitch okay. Morse has been around the league for a decade. All right. And listen to him talk about Cooper Hodges. Coop is a guy who does everything the right way. He's such a spark in our room, not only as a player, but just as a personality, as a friend. Um, so that was, you know, when you're in the flow of the game, you compartmentalize, but now that you have the opportunity to sit back and reflect, it's, it's devastating. He does everything the right way. The Drive of the Day is sponsored by Ford F-Series. Test drive one at your local Ford dealer today. I remember the Jags got down 28-16. They have a 4th and 12, 4th and 13. Yeah. I thought this was a brilliant throw to Brian Thomas Jr. He comes back and gets it, keeps the drive alive. And then this throw was even better, maybe. It's Evan Ingram, Dan. Yeah, this is great. And uh, this is what the Jags need to do. Let Trevor go back and rip. I will say this, too. Uh, the offensive line did a nice job. They gave up one early sack. Walker Little got beat. And after that... And they had to mix and match, man. They had guys going down. They don't have Cam Robinson anymore. Blake Hans was in there for. I mean, these guys did a nice job. Trevor culminating right there. Nobody's open. I can use my athleticism, my speed, and run it in. That's what the Jags need to do. And, and again, there's no questioning the effort. They fight. They yeah. just don't know how to win. I actually thought too there were times like that play, and there was another play that fell incomplete. 
where Trevor was really good in the pocket, feeling yes. it. He was patient at times. Even on the fourth and 12 or 13 to Brian, he, he waited, he waited, he waited. But then there's just this Just stop that one awareness. spin left, that spin <laughs> left that he does. Yeah. Don't do that one, Trevor. Go the other that way. That one doesn't seem to work very often. Yeah. Uh, hey, when we come back, there are some sunshine and rainbows what? even in two and seven. Yeah. I don't think this is as hard as other weeks, quite okay. frankly. All we right. haven't, we're not threatening to cancel it. Let's just say that. All right. All it right. was a beautiful weekend in Philadelphia, too. Yeah, that going for you. Get local sports on demand with Action Sports Shacks 24-7. All sports, all local, all the time. From the locker room to the field, the Jacks, high school football, the Jacksonville Armada, and don't forget, the Brenton Austin Show. They're all in <laughs> on Trevor. Of course. Download the Action News Jacks Now app, available wherever you stream or at actionnewsjacks.com. TV, phone, laptop, desktop, Action Sports Shacks 24-7. Jacksonville sports, all the time. This is Action Sports Jacks Jags Report Live from Strings Sports Brewery, sponsored by Farah and Farah, the exclusive injury law firm of the Jaguars. Uh, so a lot of people ask me why I keep saying it's the most frustrating season or weirdest season I've ever covered in Jacksonville, uh -huh. 16 years. It's because you can find the sunshine and rainbows. Okay. Josh Hines Allen continues to play pretty good football. Had two sacks yesterday. Okay. We know what Trayvon Walker did. How about his first touchdown yeah. in the NFL with the return fumble? And then he looks, I mean, you talk about a freak athlete. That play showcased it, didn't it? I saw somebody listed that he has a faster 40 time than two of our running backs. Yeah. Uh, I would put him at fullback a couple times and pitch him the ball and see what, see what we're able to he do. He continues and then, to have a really good season. And I, I'll, give, I'll give, listen, I haven't given credit one iota all year to the defensive coordinator, but they defended the tush push really well. Yeah, they really did. And nobody's done it. That's why it's right. a big story. I mean, yeah. they did it twice, and nobody's been able to do that. Uh, so hats off to them. We'll see if the league will copycat it. All right, let's now. get back to the negativity. Right? Yeah, let's do that. How <laughs> about back here at Spring Sports? Yeah. Who are these guys, Dan? Hey, look, right here's my class, my UNF class. There they are. There they come on a field trip. We had a field trip tonight. Come to the show. Very so good. Uh, I hope everyone, you're buying dinner. Every one of them is getting an A. I can promise you that. <laughs> yeah, and the right. ones who didn't show, well, uh, we'll see. Tough, tough for grading we'll scale. We'll see. How's, but... pro how's Professor Hicken? Oh, Professor adjunct, Hicken, good. Adjunct good. Professor of the Year. That's yeah. what I am. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, String Sports Brewer, everybody. <laughs> Jags Report Live. And, Dan, I want you to do this in your class okay. next week. Okay. The headstand celebration. Oh, yeah. Who start <laughs> I saw one guy started that thing, and now everybody's doing it, right? <laughs> this is a thing. <laughs> And By the way, Drake London did it, and he left the game with a hip injury. Yeah, watch out. He so got a neck injury. He didn't do it that, that way, but on that, but I mean, my goodness gracious. Yeah, I, I saw some, I think it was like a high school or college kid did it. Yes. And now they're all copying it. You know what's interesting is it's not really for the video. They want, like, the picture of it when you're right. just straight up and down. Yes. These guys are so aware of the brands, yeah, man. It's they crazy. Are. Don't, Great ever athletes. Let, don't ever let them tell you that they don't have time on their hands. They think about this stuff. Something happened in uh, Minneapolis last night that was somewhat. I don't know. I guess you're happy for the guy. It's not his fault he got dealt, right? Yeah. How about this? When you can go out and block the man across from you, you can wear purple. Uh -huh. You can wear teal. You can wear white. You can wear red. You can wear whatever you want. But you show up on a Wednesday, have a couple days of work, and go out and play like that. Welcome to the Minnesota Vikings. Cam Robinson's first game with the Vikings. He gets a game ball. By the way, former Jags tight end Josh Oliver also got a game oh ball. Boy. Guess who comes to town Sunday? And the Vikings are coming to town. Good yeah. for Cam. Listen, I like Cam. Yeah. Um, and he just traded away. Made business sense. He Look was at, emotional there. You could tell. Look at those L's. Uh, listen, and, you know, I was hopeful we could win two of these four against the NFC. Uh, the Vikings are no easy. They're a good team. Yeah, they're good. And they do a great job on defense. They bring six, seven guys up to the line of scrimmage every play, and then they'll drop back, they'll blitz. They're going to confuse the Jaguars' offense, so they better be ready for that. The Lions, you can forget about going up there. Ooh, they have are fun so with good. that one. So, uh, good. so it doesn't look good. No, and the Jags have to get this. Here's the other one thing about this. If you're trying to convince Shad Khan to keep you as a front office and a coaching staff, yeah. winning those last five games, that's against nobody. Yeah. You got to win one or two of these games against somebody. That's fair. To add to the resume and the belief in the from the owner, I think, yeah. to say, "Hey, 
look, we can beat these teams, and we lost very close games to some of the other ones. Right. They're, it's important they win, I think, on Sunday, and maybe against the Houston Texans. We do have well. the white helmets on Sunday. Hey, to look, yeah, those well, are very snazzy. I fact, like them. I want to ask you a question about the uniforms okay. when we come back All right. here at Spring Sports Brewery on Jags Report Live. Hey, don't forget, by the way, we'll be here on Thursday as well for Jaguars All Access right here. All right. And uh, scheduled to have Evan Ingram join us, so stay tuned for that. But coming up on Thursday night, you can also catch that show on Fox 32. Hey everyone, Olivia Tassley here from Action Sports Jax to tell you all the different ways you can watch our new 24-7 network. Three easy steps. You don't even need a pen and paper to write it down. Step number one, download the app. Search Action News Jax in your app store either on your phone or your smart TV. Then, once you're on the app, click on that little drop-down menu in the upper left-hand corner with the three little lines. That'll show you these options. And boom, right here, click Action Sports Jax 24-7 and you will be brought to our continuous stream channel. That app can be accessed through all these different platforms. Whether you have Roku, Fire TV, Smart TV, Apple TV, or Google TV, you can find our app. Now, if you don't have access to the app, don't worry. We still got you covered. We're across all social media platforms from Facebook, Instagram, X, YouTube, Twitch. We have a podcast channel. Plus, check out our short reels on our TikTok. Action Sports Jacks 24-7. It's on all the time and everywhere. This is Action Sports Jacks Jags Report Live from Strings Sports Brewery. Sponsored by Farah and Farah, the exclusive injury law firm of the Jaguars. All right, we got to pick up the pieces and keep going. We got eight games left. These Gator fans are pumped up about something. Basketball <laughs> season starts tonight. That's a good thing. They should be pretty good in hoops, by the yeah. way. So. Uh, we'll see how they do. They got a game coming up at the arena at 8.30. It's fun. Basketball season starts today. Yeah. UNF's in action at South Carolina. They actually lead at South Carolina early in that one. The, the powers that be missed a great opportunity. It should be 24 hours of college basketball. They should have a midnight game. I two. thought it usually is. Yeah, I thought they used to do that. But yeah. anyway. And what are we home doing? tonight as well. Uh, right. So check out some hoops uh, in the area. We're talking football here on Jags Report Live, Spring Sports Brewery. And check out some fashion, Dan. I know you're a fashion guy. I'm a fashion guy. guy. Look at so me. we break out the alternate white helmets. Oh, I like which combination do you want to go with the white helmets on Sunday? You have to go black jersey. That's the way the league says okay. you have to do it. Because uh -huh. all white would have been pretty clean, as we say, right? Well, again, it's a good question, man. I, does the white helmet offset the whole black look? I, maybe, I or but I like the white pant mixed in, too. It's funny. I went to the all black initially. Yeah. But I think I actually landed on the far right one with the white socks. Oh, the white. Okay. So, okay. But, but I'm bad at this game. I can I am care too. less about uniforms. In fact, you can ask me. There's some guys, some sports fans can sit, come back and say, what were they wearing when? And they'll tell you what they're wearing. I don't even remember. What, what year did the Jags wear the two-tone helmets? Oh, That's gosh, disaster. Yeah, yeah you right. don't know. 2018, right? They actually wore it during the great year of 17. 17, yeah. yeah. Dan, how do you fix it? If you're the Jags, you got 30 seconds. Um, I mean, are you... What do you do? I, well, you got what you got, right? So there's nothing you can do. Trade deadline tomorrow. You got to come out and you got to you got to honestly go up no huddle on offense and you got to change a few things defensively too. That I don't know exactly what. Stop the run. Stop the run. <laughs> I think there's, you can pick, it's just not so one many thing. Things, it's man. not one thing. Yeah. And it changes a little bit week It does. Week. You got to fix third downs, though. And you yes. got to fix the first half. Three of 10 yesterday, they're terrible. All right. That's going to do it here for uh, Jags Report Live. Yeah. We'll see you at the bank on Sunday, everybody. Got a Hope little so. hoops tonight as well downtown. Hope you enjoy your week. Thanks for hanging out with us on Fox 30. Yeah. for watching Action Sports Jacks Jags Report Live from Strings Sports Brewery. Sponsored by Farah & Farah, the exclusive injury law firm of the Jaguars. Action Sports Jacks Primetime, Saturday at 10.30 on Fox 30.